this is Carrie with Canary Quilts and I want to introduce you to the piece and quilt sampler quilt along that Fat Quarter Shop is going to be starting in April. I have been talking about this for a few months now and we're about to start it but I also told you that I was going to show you how to use the paper pieces that Fat Quarter Shop is going to use when they do this quilt. So if you're new to paper piecing or you've never really tried it, I thought I'd show you the, um, it's the It's So Emma line of paper piece rolls and tablets that we're gonna be using in this and um, show you how to read those patterns and how to cut them out and utilize them. So the quilt is called Peace and Quilt Sampler. It is in this book, which you'll have to get, Celebrate with Quilts by Lisa Alexander and Susan Aki. And there are a ton of quilts. All these quilts are also in this book, along with the Peace and Quilt that we're gonna be doing. And I think there might be about 50 different block patterns in here. And each quilt, they tell you which block patterns they're going to be using and how many and which size. And each block pattern has four different sizes to it. So you're getting quite a lot in the book if you were to buy just the book. The other thing I want to say is you don't have to paper piece this either. There are instructions on rotary cutting your pieces in here. So um, you can also quilt along doing it that way. But if you want to try the paper piecing, which is the way I'm going to do it, because I love paper piecing and I love how my pieces come out so much more square than they do if I'm just cutting and piecing them together. So you can also go on, I'll have links to this all down below this, uh, um, this video in the description. You can grab a free PDF. This is what the quilt's going to look like in the fabric kit that they're offering. And it also gives you a schedule of all the blocks and when they're doing them. And it gives you a coloring sheet if you want to try to figure out what colors you want if you're not going to use their fabric kit. So I'm going to go through the first month with the paper pieces and show you the shoe fly and the dandy star block that are part of this first month that we're going to be doing. So there's 12 of these. We're going to use the one inch finished, um, I have it right here, one inch, that's two and a half, one inch finished half square triangle rolls in this. And then in the dandy square, we're going to use two and a half inch half square triangle rolls. So I'm going to show you how to read them, how to cut your fabrics, and how to paper piece. And then we put this beautiful block together. And these are the fabrics I chose. I'm using my so colorful fat quarter um, of the month fat quarter bundle of the month that's a lot to say anyway i get a different color each month i get uh, i think 15 fat quarters so i got 15 of the purple one month and 15 orange another month and i think this month i'm getting pink so i'm gonna have a lot of colors in this quilt but anyway i want to also just kind of go through the kit, show you the book a little bit more, and then I'm gonna get on to um, putting the block together. So let me know if you're doing this. Let me know if you're curious about doing this. If you're interested, interested in doing this quilt along, I have all the information in the de uh, description down below that you can take a look at. So hit the subscribe button, notification bell, if you want to watch this quilt along. I'm doing a Dear Jane quilt along. I've got other fun stuff I'm doing on the channel. I just did a video on this, 13 Simple Whatnots. This is the first month, and it had some interesting applique down here. Um, and I just want to show this off. If you're familiar with what I'm doing, this is the latest in my sleuth block of the month, if you want to see what it looks like. So we'll have fun here if you stick around and um, yeah, let's get started on this. All right, some of you may have seen this before, but if you're new here, I just want to go through it real quick. Again, this is Fat Quarter Shop is putting on this quilt along. I'm going to be doing it and um, I wanted to introduce it to you and show you paper piecing with the It's So Emma, which is um, paper pieces which are inside this box. So you don't need to paper piece this. The instructions in this book will let you get um, the blocks done without paper piecing. All right, so this is the quilt. It's 72 and a half by 91 and a quarter when it's finished. Um, it does give you the fabric requirements. This is the schedule 
and it tells you that they're going to get ready in March um, and then what we're going to do in April, May, June, all the way through February of 2025. It gives you the blocks we're doing, how many of the blocks we're going to be doing of each one, and then what page these blocks are on in this book. And then a coloring sheet if you want to utilize it. I started, but I kind of deviated from it. So that's free on Fat Quarter Shop. I have a link to this down below if you want to check it out. Um, grab it for yourself and uh, see if you want to do it. This is the book we need that has the quilt pattern in it, Celebrate with Quilts by Lisa Alexander and Susan Aki. This is actually the quilt we're going to be doing. They have a fabric kit for this colorway. Um, I thought they said they were going to have two fabric kits. I'll have to look and if they do I'll link it. But I am going to be using my own fabrics. These are um, a, uh, the quilts that are in here that you can make. They're all really beautiful and they all utilize the blocks that are in here. So this says it's an It's So Emma publication. So table of contents shows you all the blocks that are in here and all the sampler quilts also. So that um, if you're not interested in doing this one, there's plenty of other to choose from. A couple of two color blocks. So that's the book. I have that link down below. Um, that would be separate from anything else you buy. You would have to buy this book. And this is the piece and quilt sampler foundation paper notion set right here that they sell to go with this quilt along. So I have some of these. I've had some of these already, so I threw mine in here along with what they give you. These are all the items, almost all the items that you get in this package. Here's the pads I was talking about. That's mine. That doesn't come with it. Um, you've got flying geese, you, a square and a square, a uh, little square and a square, smaller flying geese. So these are all the pads that you get to make flying geese and I will be going through and showing you how to read these pads. Um, they've got instructions here and then this is what the paper pieces look like. How to cut your fabric for that. And then also these rolls. These rolls are nice because you can just cut off as many as you need for half square triangles. And I believe that's what all of these are. Yeah, all of these are half square triangles. They have so many sizes. Um, this was one I had. This is a four inch finished half square. So that was one I had and I think that was one I had. So I think the rest of these you get. But right here, I did have it, is um, the list of the items that you get in here. If you want to take a look at it, it's got the um, product number over here. When they put their inches on here for what half square triangle it is, that is the finished half square triangle. So a one inch half square triangle will be the finished product. So they'll be one and a half inches unfinished. So that's what you get in this kit. I tried to price these all out separately because I already had some of these and it was actually less expensive to buy this box and get some duplicates than it was to try to find these separately. So that's why I went ahead and bought the box. So those are all the paper pieces that we're gonna be utilizing in this quilt and I will be doing these each month also and showing you how to read these patterns and how to put these together. This is gonna be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to this. I love paper piecing anyway. But like I said, you don't have to paper piece to do this quilt. So there you go. I have, like I said, I have links to all of this down in the description below. Um, wanted to introduce it to you. Wanted to go through the first month ahead of time. So if you want to get into this, you'll have time to think about it. Check it out on their website and um, quilt along with us. So there you go. Anyway, let's get started on our April blocks. All right, to get started on our piece and quilt sampler that I'm doing with, um, a, I'm quilting along with Fat Quarter Shop. This is what it's gonna look like in the end. 
and they are going to start their blocks in April, but I told you I would do the first block ahead of time so you could see how these paper pieces work if you're interested in following along. I will be pulling these out each month and showing you how to do them um, so that if you're not comfortable with it, you can watch what I do and um, sew along also, make this beautiful quilt. So the first two blocks we're going to be doing, actually the first block we're doing is this one right here in the corner. We are going to be doing 12 3 inch shoe fly blocks and that's what's all the way around the middle and then one dandy 6 inch dandy star in the middle. So I'm going to start with the shoe flies and we are using Celebrate with Quilts by Lisa Alexander and Susan Aki. I have links to all of this down below. And this is, this is the block we're going to be doing. So we need 12 of these. We're going to paper piece these half square triangles, the corners. So we're going to need 48 half square triangle blocks. So to get you set up for what I'm going to be doing, you may be using one color and then you can cut accordingly, but I'm going to be using three different colors, so I'm going to have to cut a little differently. We have rows of half square triangles here. The solid lines are what you're going to be cutting them out with, and this is how you're going to cut them apart. So each one of these will yield a half square triangle block. So each row has eight half square triangles on it. We're using the one inch finished half square triangles, just so you know. Triangles on a roll by It's So Emma. Should have said that first, but there we go. If you ordered the kit they had, this came in the kit. So you have this. All right, the directions are on these papers so that you don't have to keep anything, um, any of the packaging. It says to cut an eight inch eight and a quarter inch wide by desired length piece of fabric. Eight and a quarter inch is this dimension right here. You will need to figure out this dimension depending on how big you cut these out. Layer two fabrics right sides together. Pin the paper on top, I'll show you that. Follow arrows, sew on the dash lines. So these dash lines you see are the sewing lines and I'll show you that also. And then we'll cut out on the solid lines. So, I need 48 half square triangles. So, I have three fabrics. If you take 48 and you divide it by eight, that gives you six rows. I have three fabrics, so each fabric is gonna get two rows. So, I hope you see how I did my math. Each fabric will get two rows, and that will give me the six rows that I need. So let me get these cut out and show you how I'm going to do that. I am going to cut these precisely. Sometimes I don't, but I'm going to do it here. This I've cut, so I want to cut right on this line right here. All right. And then I want to cut right on this line. So I need two rows. Okay. There's two rows precisely right there. I'm going to cut two more. I'm cutting on the solid line. There we go. 48 divided by 8 is six and I have six rows here. So what we need to do is we need to cut our purple or my purple and my white out of all of these. You can measure these precisely. You can do eight and a quarter by four inches if you want to or you can just set these on your fabrics and cut around them. That's what I'm gonna do. So first one I'm going to do is this purple and I'm going to cut, I'm going to lay this on here and just make sure I have got 
I'm going to cut enough fabric around it. There we go. That's how I'm doing it. So I've got that fabric and I'm going to do the exact same thing on my other two purples and my white will get three cuts. Alright, for my white, I'm going to need three of these. If you want, you can just use your purple fabric and then it'll be exactly the same size. And that goes there. Here's this purple fabric. All right, there's my cuts. Your cuts may look different if you're using one. Um, like in case, if I was only using one purple fabric, I would have all six of these. I wouldn't have cut these. I'd have all six of these together in a piece like that. Then your piece of fabric would be that big. So what we wanna do now is put our fabrics right sides together. I'm going to put my piece on top of here and I'm gonna pin it. My white is just big enough. I don't know what I did. I don't think I used the purple, I think I used the paper. All right, I'm going to pin it like that and I'm gonna get all of these pinned the same way. All right, these are pinned on so that they won't scooch as I'm sewing. Now, when we go over to our machine, we wanna make sure our stitch length is set low I have mine set at 1.5. It's my normal stitch is 2.2. So it's set significantly lower so that we will be perforating the paper as we sew, makes it easier to rip off. Now all we have to do is go over to our machine and stitch on the dotted lines in the direction the arrow tells us to. So I'm gonna stitch start here and I'm gonna go all the way down here, needle down, turn my fabric, and stitch right off the paper here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing here, stitch to here, stitch to there, and then stitch to there and stitch to there. So make sure you have all your dotted lines stitched in the direction it tells you to stitch and we'll be good. So let's go to my machine. I'll show you real quick how this works. All right, I'm set up at my machine. I have an open toe foot. That was the closest one to me, but it will work. I'll be able to see where my needle goes down. And I'm gonna start here. I'm gonna start off the paper. My arrow says to go this way, so I'm gonna sew right on this dotted line along the arrow all the way off of the paper. And I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna sew here following these arrows. All right, there we go. Now we can pull our pins because it is attached. Paper is attached to the fabric. So we can start anywhere now. We could start over here and do this row. Turn it, do this row. All right, now we are working on this row, so we'll start off the fabric, sew along our line, stop here, needle down, turn our fabric, and go the other way. Went one stitch too far, all right. We're gonna do the same thing over here. Sew to the corner, needle down, pivot, Keep sewing. There we go. 
that's how easy it is. I've got all my dash lines sewn. That's what it looks like on the back. So I'm going to finish up the other two and then I'll show you how to cut them. All right, there's my pieces. Before I start cutting, I like to set my seams. So it's a lot easier to set these three pieces than it will be to set all these when they're done. So I'm going to get these pieces set under my iron. All right, my threads, uh, seams have been set. They're nice and flat. So now I'm going to do the long cut lines first. So I'm going to do my edges. And this is basically when I cut it, it's just the edge of the paper I'm laying it up against. And I'm going to do my sides. Let's see, I guess I could go down the center. And then I can grab my smaller ruler and cut, start cutting up the squares. And once your squares are cut, then you can start cutting on the diagonal. And we are going to be ironing towards the dark fabric, which in my case is purple. So there you go. That's how you cut these up, always on the solid line. And, and we will have some just beautifully square, half square triangles. And each half square triangle only have half the paper on it. I don't know why I screamed half the paper, but half the paper and so there won't be as much to pull off in the end. All right, I've ironed all my pieces towards my dark, which is purple. And then all I'm doing, since we paper pieces, these are gonna be very square. I'm just trimming my tails with my scissors. So all my half square triangles are done. I'm gonna get my squares cut out and then we can start putting the block together. All right, I have got my white pieces cut. I cut 48 of these. I cut 12 of my purple center pieces and I did it of the different fabrics. I've got all my half square triangles here. I just mixed them up and I've already gone ahead and done three of these to see what it was like to put these together and it's pretty simple. So what I'm doing before I even get these laid out, I'm, as I grab one of my half square triangles, I'm pulling the papers off. Um, I think it's easier to pull them off at this point than it would be later for this particular block. I have done it where I've left it in my quilt till the end. I like that structure, but these are pretty small. So at this point we have a simple nine patch. We are going to um, put our rows together and iron towards the white patches. So it makes it easy to remember how to iron. Just iron always it, towards the light patches. Um, mine's white, so um, that's how I'm gonna do it. And then we'll put our rows together. We'll have nested seams right here. And then once we get our rows together, we will iron towards the center row. And that's about it. So we are getting this thing done. And then we gotta do the center block which is called dandy i think yeah dandy star so let me get my 12 done and then we'll work on the dandy star all right here's my finished shoe flies i've got 12 of them here turned out really nice um love how square these half square triangles turn out really helps out with that many seams so the next one we're going to work on is the dandy block dandy star block and this one is going to be both rotary cut and paper pieced. We need half square triangles for the corners and we need four of them. We're going to need two inch finished half square triangles. So since we only need four of them, we only need one strip here. So I'm going to cut right along that line. And that's all we're going to need for this block because we only need one. It's the center of all of these shoe flies. So these are some washi tapes. I got an sew sampler that um, you can put on the outside to hold it down. It doesn't stick. It sticks, but it doesn't pull on the paper. 
and it tells you the product number and the um, size of the roll of the pieces that are in here. Anyway, I am just going to do this. I'm going to cut around this. And uh, this is going to be the color of my dandy block. And I'm going to use my white piece to cut here. There we go. It does tell you what size pieces, at least the width to cut on here. And their instructions are on this one, just like the one and a half inch. I'm going to put my right sides together. Lay this on here, make sure I've got the coverage, and pin it down. Let's see, this one. Can be pinned in the corner, both corners, because we're only sewing here. You can pin it more if you want to. All right, so I'm going to go to my machine. I'm going to set it on a smaller stitch, and I'm just going to follow the arrows here on the dashed lines. And then we'll come back and cut on the solid lines. All right, there we go. I've got my pieces sewn. I've got my lines, seam sewn, whatever you want to call it. Now I'm going to cut on the solid lines around the entire block. And I'm just going to use the paper as my edge here because I cut that on the line. You can cut bigger pieces of fabric if it makes you more comfortable because this is paper piecing. And all you need is bigger pieces of fabric. All right, there's my edges. Let's cut up the middle. Come on, trash. There we go. And then cut on the diagonals. And then I am going to iron towards my darker fabric. And I'll pull the papers off at this time also. All right, here's my half square triangles. I've pulled the paper, ironed towards the darker color. I've cut my pieces for this center star. So I've got one of my print, four of my light colors, and eight of what are going to be the star points. So, you know, you can do these however you want. I marked one of these. We want to line it up with one of our light colors. And we're going to sew on the line, trim a quarter of an inch from the line, and then iron towards the corner. And then we're going to repeat on the other side. So we'll have two star point corners down here on each one of these white pieces. And then we're ready to put this block together. So I'm going to finish that center star and then we'll start assembling. All right, I got my pieces made for our dandy star block. And this is how it's going to get laid out. We want our star points in the middle, and we want our half square triangle prints to point away from the block. Now we have a nine patch, and I'm going to sew these so that I'm ironing towards the half square triangles and the patch in the middle. Not sewing. I'm going to sew the rows, and I'm going to iron towards the half square triangles in the corners and iron towards the center patch. And then I'm going to put my rows together, and we'll iron away from the center row. So we're going to iron towards our half square triangle rows. So there we go. And then we can put the whole block together. It's going to be pretty. All right, here's my center dandy star block finished. Turned out really pretty. And I've got my 12 shoe flies around it. So what we need to do is we need to assemble these two shoe flies and these two rows. And I it the pattern calls to um, iron these seams open. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I would have suggested. So I'm going to get these sewn, ironed open, get these sewn, ironed open, and then we'll have three rows to put together. All right, there are my two rows, my two sides. We need to add our sides to our star, and these seams right here will match up with these seams. 
Um, again, I'm going to iron everything open and then I'm gonna put my three rows together matching these seams right here. Iron those seams open and then look at there. That This block that I'm making is right here on the front of the book. There we go, there's our first block for the piece and quilt quilt along that Fat Quarter Shop's doing and that I'm doing and that I think a lot of you are doing. Um, <clears throat> I showed you how to paper piece. You do not need to paper piece this. I think it makes it easier. Um, I think it makes it gives it more squareness to my little tiny blocks, um, but you do not have to. So I've got links to this down below. Um, their kit if it's still available for paper piecing and um, it's going to be a beautiful quilt. You can see a preview here of their colors. And um, there's our first block that we did. So hit the subscribe button notification bell and you can sew along with me and with Fat Quarter Shop and make yourself a beautiful quilt. And um, let me know how it's going for you. I love to hear from you. I love your comments and I'll uh, see you in the next video. Bye.